It doesn't involve any medication, any pills, it just uses our air. There's no proof that it works. This treatment works. We've, we've proven it. We've proven it for WA. Originally made for deep sea divers suffering from the bends, now there's a growing demand for hyperbaric chambers to treat a range of health conditions. The reason we need oxygen is to repair the cells. Inside this pressure tank, the patient breathes in almost pure oxygen. It takes up four times the amount of oxygen we can actually normally take into our bodies. Already used in hospitals, physiotherapist Kylie Tomich is treating clients with one of Perth's first hyperbaric chambers open to the public. So it reaches the brain and organs and muscles that it just can't get to otherwise. The chamber's pressurised to 1.3 atmosphere, which is like doing a duck dive 11 feet underwater, and then the patient lays there and just breathes in the oxygen. And how long do they lay there for? Uh, they lay there for an hour and they can lay in for up to two if they want to. You could click your fingers in right in front of his face and uh, he wouldn't even blink. Two years ago, Steve Hatton's son Curtis was just 16 when he crashed his motorbike, severely damaging his brain. It meant he was non-responsive and he would never, ever smile, laugh, talk. Refusing to give up hope, Steve read about oxygen therapy, but with no access to hyperbaric chambers in WA, he raised $30,000 to fly Curtis to the closest oxygen chamber in Melbourne. 60, 70 hours um, we had smiling, blinking. After 100 hours, um, you know, the emotions come back, crying, laughing, it was just amazing. Bring your arm up, that's it. Then, incredibly, Steve filmed his son move his arm for the very first time since the accident. Could you believe it? No, no. Because obviously, you know, we all have faith, but um, this, is, this was a trial for us, you know. It was, it was a big investment and we, we succeeded, yes. Curtis, can you touch your head with your left hand? Wow. And you couldn't do that before the oxygen? No. According to Kylie, the chamber can help treat a wide range of conditions, from common illness like colds and flu, to stress, fatigue, asthma, rheumatoid arthritis, and improve behaviour and communication in autistic children. Autistic children have a sleepy part or dominant part of the brain, so the oxygen therapy actually stimulates that part of the brain and wakens it up. There's no proof that hyperbaric uh, is good for these, uh, these range of conditions. Dr Michael Gannon from the Australian Medical Association says the idea of oxygen therapy has been around for years. It's always a worry when people aren't using established health treatments uh, and replacing them with non-evidence-based treatments. And with each session costing up to $100, treatments quickly add up. Just because something's being sold to you as a, as a reputable health treatment, I think people are entitled to, uh, to ask these kind of questions. Um, I think that uh, people should be encouraged to ask for the evidence. Despite the lack of conclusive clinical evidence, Steve says he plans to fight for state government assistance to provide public access to hyperbaric chambers in WA. They also have 500 clinics in America that do oxygen treatment. China has 8,000 chambers. We have a couple. Steve believes his son is living proof of the benefits of pressure therapy and according to Kylie, her clients swear by it. For so many people I've seen, this has actually been a life-changing treatment. If it sounds too good to be true, it usually is.